Hello everybody, it's Sena, and today's time lapse video is a galaxy inspired watercolor painting. All the materials I used will be listed down below. So I want to start off by reading a quote by the amazing Neil deGrasse Tyson. We are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. I have always loved the idea that humans are made of the same elements that compose the galaxy and the stars. It's kind of humbling in a way. I feel like that it makes us more connected to the universe and shows that we are a very small part of a much bigger world. Going off that idea, I came up with the concept for this piece, which is a girl in a galaxy space setting and her body is slowly transforming into stars and she is returning to her origins in the universe. I consider this piece my first real step into surrealism. I typically stick to the realm of fantasy, painting lots of fairies, elves, mermaids, women in elaborate crowns or dresses, and I absolutely love painting fantastical creatures, but every now and then I get the urge to experiment and push myself outside my comfort zone. Experimenting is something I do quite often and I love pushing myself and giving myself new challenges because if I stay in my comfort zone too long then I end up feeling really bored and stifled. I also find that if I rely heavily on the same painting techniques and styles my work becomes really unsatisfying to me. So to make sure that I continue to grow as an artist, I really push myself to try new ideas and concepts. It can be a bit scary, but I honestly think the payout is worth it in the end. For example, when I posted the concept sketch of this piece on my Instagram, it didn't get a great response, but I didn't let that stop me from creating the final piece. I still really wanted to paint it, so I had to stop and remind myself that this piece wasn't for Instagram likes, it was for me to experiment and to push myself with watercolors. I've wanted to do for a while a watercolor piece that didn't rely very heavily on color pencils or inking to give it depth. I wanted to take a break from my normal watercolor technique and really push myself to try something different. Now, I did have some issues while painting this piece. For example, the galaxy colors started lifting when I went to remove a strand of hair I wasn't happy with. That was really annoying, but some workable fixatives solved the issue. I also did end up using a little bit of color pencil on the girl to add more depth to her, but I only used one color and only on one part of the piece. I also did end up using a white gel pen for the stars, but that was mainly because white watercolor paint is very transparent. When I completed this piece, I was so happy with the results. And I think it really shows because the picture of the completed piece is one of my most liked pictures on my Instagram. Now, like I said, I didn't do this piece for Instagram likes, but I think people could really tell that I was very satisfied with this piece and they could tell how much work and energy and time that I put into it. By going outside my comfort zone and really pushing myself to try something different really helped me. Now I want to experiment even more with surrealism and push myself even further with watercolor. It has even inspired me to try new things with my illustrations and acrylic paintings. For example, I have plans for an acrylic painting where I'm going to use all desaturated colors instead of my normal very bright color palette. So I'm very excited to try that out. And it's also given me the motivation to finish up an oil painting I've been working on for about a year. And the main reason why I stopped working on it was because oils are very different from acrylics and it was a little bit harder for me to adjust to it. But now I'm very motivated to finish it and I'm hoping that this will eventually lead to me doing more oil paintings down the line. This one painting has really inspired me to continue trying new things and experimenting. 
Trying something new can be really scary in the beginning. The fear of failure can be overwhelming and negative thoughts can creep up on us. But if you never try, you will never know if you can do it. Even if you try and don't execute it perfectly, you can still learn something from it. And if you're scared of what other people might think of your new art, just remember, it's not for them. It's for you to learn and grow as an artist. You don't even have to share it if you don't want to. I feel like that social media can really warp our sense of self. And for an artist who might rely heavily on social media for your art business, it can be really scary to change things up. You have the possibility of losing followers and potential collectors, but if you are unhappy and unsatisfied with your work, then that will eventually start to show through and you could lose your motivation. Having a comfort zone is nice, but it's also very safe. Life is about learning and improving and changing. If you feel bored or unsatisfied with your arts, try getting outside of your comfort zone and experiment with new mediums and techniques. If you mainly draw, maybe you try painting. If you typically create pieces with animals as a subject, maybe try creating one with a person. If you are happy with your work and you feel satisfied, then you don't have to experiment if you don't want to. At the end of the day, the only thing that really matters is what you want and where you want to go with your art. But don't be afraid to try new things because you can learn a lot about yourself. So it looks like we have come to the end of the video. If you are interested in prints of this piece, they are available in my shop. The link is down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe so you can enjoy more videos like this. And if you would like to continue following my art journey, then follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.